Right, my friends, Hornby Layout Build Project Table Thing Part 2. Now that I've built five bases and we have five panels so the track can actually lay on top of the whole table itself, what I need to do now is I actually need to build some legs to fit to the bases in order for it to actually become a table. Now because I've got five bases, I actually need to make double that and make ten legs, all exactly the same, without any issues and without any problem. Well, I guess issues is problem, so um, what can possibly go wrong? <laughs> Right, we'll wait for that to dry overnight, then I'll measure out the middle bit of how much length of wood I need to cut, and then hopefully that'll be the first leg nearly done. I mean, I am going to add some uh, some extra bits sticking out, like from here and here and here and here, so it doesn't just fall over. So I'm making this leg as the legs. Sorry, I'm making the legs uh, pretty sturdy as I possibly can. Um, under the circumstances, of course. Right, I've got some news to tell you, and they're not very good news, unfortunately. Apparently, my leg design I was going for, which is this, uh, is actually not very stable at all. It's very wobbly, and it just doesn't work, and the wood isn't strong enough to withhold something um, this heavy. Um, so that's one of the bad news, so we're going to have to scrap this idea, because that's not going to work at all. Um, and the other bad news is, is I actually need to make another five of these guys um, because uh, this, what you're looking at is this is the base of where this panel wood is going to sit on top but also this is the actual design uh, my dad was thinking, well we're actually going to be doing a design where this is actually also going to be the floor as well, like the, the, where the legs are going to attach on to make the uh, table bit stronger, so I thought I was actually finished building these guys, but unfortunately I was badly wrong. So I'm gonna make another five of these guys. Um, so that means more wood, more money, and more time. I was really hope getting closer to this being done. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna start putting these um, panels onto these bases glue the whole thing together and then screw it down using some drills and screws screw the whole thing together and it's going to look amazing so let's start doing that then Mr Oliver let's get drilling Can you see me? Hello. That is solid. I'm very pleased with that. Um, and then look, I've got to do, do like th uh, four more of these. <laughs> but I'm, 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 I'm happy with this. This is this is nice. Right, let's crack on. So 
So I've been at this project for about two weeks now and so far it's coming along nicely. What do you guys think? I finally have the panels connected to the bases. This is actually how big it's going to be. Um, I just thought I should lay it out just for a test to see what it'll look like. Now you're probably wondering why is there a gap over there. I've got a plan for that little area because I'm thinking of building a massive train bridge. But so far it's looking great. I mean I need to build the legs for the whole table to actually lift off the ground. So it'll be about like this tall or something. But that looks amazing. I mean, I'm 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 generally pleased about this. I mean, I've I've never built anything, well, I've never built anything before. Um, so for my first attempt, um, I think I've done all right. And they're very strong and very solid. Look how strong that is. I mean, and they're very heavy. But nothing's gonna break that. And I'm facing against the sunlight. I need the light so you can actually see me. But there's a lot of, pl there's plenty of room in the middle, so where the tracks are going to go through, you can fit like, like, five adults, or maybe six, and at least eight or nine children in this little gap, because there's like so much space in the middle, so, plenty of, me to, plenty of room for me to sit down and watch the trains go by, and probably film it, of course. But so far it's looking good, and there's plenty of room for me to sit down against my turf, the uh, gaming setup, and there's like and plenty of room for the trains to actually run, but that just looks so good. I mean, it looks bigger than it does on camera because this camera is actually a wide angle lens, because so maybe it might be making it look smaller. But it's much bigger when you see it in person, like, I don't know how it works. Okay, so the past two weeks I've been quite busy because my original idea for the Hornby table was actually not actually a good idea, but my dad stepped in and um, he gave me. Uh, some design ideas and they uh, chose one and I liked it. So what I've done is I've built more of these base bits which uh, are actually going to be the bottom of the actual Hornby table. Now the idea my dad had was actually completely brilliant. What we're going to do is we're going to stick a bit of wood along the top here so it's got about like you know say hi and we're going to be putting another bit of wood here and also here so it kind of looks like a float. So it kind of looks a bit like a box, uh, but it's not actually going to be a box. It, it just looks like a box. But the middle bit of these bases are going to be completely hollow. But on each end, we're going to have a bit of wood here, a bit of wood here, and a bit of wood here. And it's going to be sort of like one big massive panel where this bit of wood is going to sit on top. So um, the point is, we need more wood, a lot more wood. But it's coming together, and um, so far, I've been working quite hard on this project, and I do not attempt to stop now, because I'm actually almost finished. Okay, one week later, and we have made some cracking progress. Now, it's not finished yet, because we need to add some more of these panels on this end, but sadly, we ran out of wood. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to my dad to, for helping me put this together because this is actually a two man job. I didn't actually film me or my dad putting this together but it looks fantastic. So we've got the bottom base and we've got the top base and now we've got this, well the box is what me and my dad are calling it. We've got, we've got like this weird cool box thing and even though that it hasn't got these panels on this end on yet, it's still pretty strong and it's amazing and to give you guys an idea of how big this is uh, I've got four bits of track laid out on the actual table well one of the sections that we've that we've built and it, I was thinking of having just three track go along as a main line but then I realized I've actually got a lot of space so I'm actually gonna be building a four main line model railway on this table. So this table is very wide and pretty good. It's going to be very long once the whole thing's finished, but just this one section looks fantastic. And I can't wait to add scenery, I can't wait to add grass, ballast, fencing, some animals, some people, lights, everything. It's gonna, it's gonna look so cool. Yes! I'm loving this. This has been quite an expensive project, I have to admit, but worth every penny and just to give you guys an idea we've built one so far and we've got to build another four so we've got to build another four of these guys place it all around the flat well in the living room um, 
it's going to look incredible, but at the moment it does look a bit rough with all the construction sites. But when this is fully done, when it's got like trees and grass and ballast and all the detail parts, it may not be the best layout you guys have ever seen, but trust me, it's going to be one of the great ones. <laughs> I'm so excited for this build. I'm, I'm mind blown. This is actually probably the best thing I've actually spent money on. Actually, apart from spending £500 driving the 9F at the Midhouse Railway, this might be maybe the second best thing I've actually spent my money on. But I'm going to leave you guys for today. Uh, this is what we've got so far. In the next video, I'm actually going to be filming me and my dad putting the rest of the pieces together and actually start constructing the actual Hornby table, which is going to be so cool. Um, which will probably be in the next video. But right now, um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos. Uh, make sure you click that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links are in the description, guys. Um, and if you want to make a little donation as well to make sure that this project gets completed, uh, there's a little link in the description below to PayPal. If you want to make a little donation, it doesn't have to be a big one, but if you guys want to make a little donation to my PayPal to keep this project going, uh, please make, give a donation, Just, even, if it, even if it's like 10p or something. Every little donation helps, guys. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, and let's keep this project going. It can't wait for it to be done. See you next time, guys. Bye. <laughs> oh my god! Beautiful. for an experience. I might be an expert at these things. Sort of.